Welcome to Houston, Texas, and the house Bill Yeoman and Andre Ware built home to the Houston Cougars where the fans are ready for liftoff. Today, a battle in the Lone Star State, and when you play another team from Texas, it just feels a little bit bigger, as we'll see a squad from the Big 12, the Baylor Bears, taking on another unit from the Big 12, the Houston Cougars. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Ready to put it deep and get this game going. Coming out with it, it's Reese. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Bears' offense takes the field. And there's a man who believes he is always open. He carries that swag and that aura of a big-time playmaker, guys. He's got to catch the football. If you're the quarterback coming into this one, you are looking for this guy early, and David, you're looking for him often. And this offense better find ways to feature him. Find him, like you said, Jesse, early, often, deep, shallow. Get this man the football. Trying to convert this second and short. From the gun, the running back has it. And the warning, there he goes! And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. That is a statement play right away. You're playing on the road. The stadium's loud and noisy. You want to quiet him down, run the football down the defense's throat. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Reads it, fires complete. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, it's still short of the first down. I love early in the game getting my quarterback in a rhythm. Coming out, short passes, easy completions. Now we're getting in a good spot. Kept it on the ground on first down. See if they stick with that plan on second. Back to throw, it's Finn. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down and brings up third down. That's a throw the QB would like to have back. He just has to do a better job giving his receiver a chance to make the catch. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And this offense stays aggressive and they pass the football. I think you can always look back and say, third and short, I'd love for you to run it and be the more physical team. But nice job sticking up and bowing their necks for this defense. The Bears will punt it away on fourth down. He ought to be able to use this first punt to pin them deep. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. So Houston's offense taking the field. First chance we have to see them today. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, they don't only really show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. A first and ten for this offense. Might as well give it to him again. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You see all this movement in football now, all the stemming, the defensive line. They're sliding right before the snap, creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue to stunt, continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard on this running back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. A third and long coming up here. 
Smith wants to throw. Fires to the right. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. It's a nice job by the receiver working past the sticks. Looked like it was going to be a first down by the offense, but how about the physical play knocking that ball loose? Houston sends the punt team onto the field. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Baylor has it back, and here comes the Bear offense. Looking to go up top on first down. That was an eyelash away from being picked off, and that is not the way to set the tone with a near pick on your opening drive. And that's why these guys played defense. If that were an offensive player or receiver, that would have easily have been a catch. Come on, man. You've got to catch that and make that a pick. Now facing a second and 10 from the 28 after that last incompletion. The give to the running back from the shotgun. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And that's what makes this defense so difficult to run against. They've got guys up front that just push offensive linemen backwards. They basically push the blockers right into the lap of that running back. Third down conversions, always a huge stat. They've got a third and long from the 27. From the gun, wants to pass. Can't make the grab quarterback, just missed him a little bit. You know, my old offensive coordinator, Sean Payton, used to call that situation third in California. Not a lot of plays that you can dial up on the play sheet for that type of down and distance. It makes it so hard on the quarterback. They've got to do a better job of keeping these third downs managed. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And he'll work his way on the return out to the 35-yard line before he stopped. The Houston offense ready to go back to work. Wide out in motion. They'll try the run. And this one will be stopped for no gain. And just a great job by the defense being stout. All right, that's your job. Be stout up front, stuff in the run play, make them get in more passing situations, but do not let them run the football. That's one-on-one. Stop the run first. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. The last two runs went headlong into a brick wall. Now third and ten. Smith dropping to pass. Buying some time. And he avoids the hit and slides after the short game. You know, you hear the term nickel so much. Most people stay a nickel most of the time because of all the speed in college football and the running quarterback. And you see why it pays dividends. More speed on the field when the QB does take off to go get him on the ground and force a fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Looking for a block. It's Cameron. Working his way on the return up to the 40-yard line before he stops. Here comes the Baylor offense back onto the field. They run the reverse. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's so easy to let your eyes lie to you to see the ball kind of go the other way. What's my assignment? My assignment is to make sure I contain on the backside. Great job by the defense, not getting fooled, playing their assignment, making the play. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. He'll try to pop the draw. And he'll be brought down. I think the OC would have been really happy with a small game and an easier third down. But how about the effort by the running back to get this close? He, he saw the first down marker, tried to get to it, got close enough now where it's an easy situation on third down. And shoot, and I got fourth down in my pocket if I want to go for it. They'll go with a direct snap. Nice job to pick up the first down, and they'll spot it at the 42. 
All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run D coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on the defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Out of the gun, the inside give. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. A lot of times those draw plays are successful when those defensive linemen run up the field, rush the quarterback, create some holes. Not this time. The defensive line did a really good job understanding that, seeing the draw play, getting the running back, getting his butt on the ground. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Punt goes out of bounds, and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. From the gun, running back on the move. Not much there. He gets one to the 11. You definitely want to commit to the run game. You, you want to establish the run game. You want the defense to honor it. But if it doesn't work a little later down the road, you might think about airing that puppy out. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Right back to the well. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. And I can't tell you how much I love seeing corners being willing to come up and tackle. That is so huge for a defense. You can't olay blocks and create space. You can't just hang out on the outside. You got to go set that edge. And conversely, I can't tell you how much I hate it when receivers don't want to block. You got to do a better job on the perimeter. It's not going to be enough in this offense just to catch passes. You got to go execute your assignment. That corner should have been blocked. They should have gotten a bigger gain on that outside run. And that's why this guy is such a weapon in this offense, because you don't have to throw it far downfield. Just get the ball in his hands. He catches it close to the line of scrimmage. But look what he was able to do after the catch. He gets an explosive play for this offense. Takes the handoff. It's Jenkins. Gets it across the 30 to the 31. A pickup of five. I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They're going to test the right side with this one. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Linebackers have such an amazing responsibility. Got to play run, got to play pass. How about this? Seeing the run aggressively, getting downhill, and getting in the backfield and making the tackle for a loss. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. Smith wants to throw. Using the quick game. And he'll have enough for the first down at the 32. The Cougars have their offense in high gear. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays. They're getting chunks of yardage. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Off the play fake. Moving out of the pocket. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. 
tried to go play action, but that did not affect the defensive tackle. He was bull rushing his guy, collapsing the pocket. He comes away with a sack. When a defense gets a sack, you know what they want? Another sack. Third down coming. From the gun, wants to pass. Grab near the marker, it's Johnson. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Defense has dominated the early part of this game, and the stats point that out emphatically. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm as we start the second quarter. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and ten. Now on second down. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And a decent gain there before the defense makes a stop. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40 yard gains later. They really wear down defenses and they test their physicality. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Smith dropping to pass. He's got his man. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. One of the most difficult things about this slot receiver is his shiftiness and his athleticism. He's very, very difficult to tackle after the catch. Houston wants to play fast. Looking to move it through the air. Throws to the wideout. Tip ball put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. Yeah, that was a good play on the ball. Get his hand up and get the tip, get the deflection. Ball bounces up in the air, falls to the ground. Incomplete pass. This offense starting to impose its dominance. 13th play of the drive coming. Got him downfield. Down to the three-yard line, and that's where they'll have it first and goal. Who says in the RPO pass game you can't throw anything vertically downfield, right? It doesn't all have to be screens and throws at the line of scrimmage. There's a good example of a quarterback pushing the ball vertically downfield after the play fake to the running back. Houston has it with a first and goal. Trying to slam in. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. See if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. Movement here from the tight end. On second and goal, they go right back to it. Going right back to the well, and this time he finds water. Gets it into the end zone for the touchdown. Now that's the way to bail out the rest of the team. Start with bad field position, put together a drive anyway. And very confident. You can see the quarterback just had a bit of a swagger race. He was like, look, all right, we're starting deep in our own end. Special teams didn't help us out. We can fix that right now, fellas. And they went out and looked so good on that last drive. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. So the 16-play drive and finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. Just about set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. 
Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Baylor has it back, and here comes the Bear offense. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of their you-know-whats. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. Quick strike complete. They ran it on first down, now on second. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Still on his feet at the 45. He got loose, almost housed it, finally dragged down at the 32. Yeah, defensively, you better be ready to run east and west when you're playing against this offense in their running game. That time, the offense was able to outflank the defense to the right side for a big play. And the Bears are in the hurry up. Finds his tight end. Finds a crease at the 20. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. Well, you're seeing the balance this offense has and how they can create explosive plays in a variety of ways. We just saw one come in the run game, and now you see one coming in the passing game. I'll tell you, they've got this defense on their heels. The Bears will have it first and 10. Now from inside the red zone. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. You know, sometimes even a short game like that can be used to set up something bigger later on. No doubt, Reese. They can pump that and take a shot down the field. And don't worry, they're going to go back to that same play because they know this guy with the ball in his hands is dangerous. He makes one guy miss, he can take it to the house. Caught in the backfield, it's Jackson. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. This is no surprise to defenses anymore. Everybody throws wide receiver screens. You can tell they were ready for it. They saw the quick game. They pounced on it. Got the wide receiver on the ground. That's not the first time they've seen that run. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down. They can't pick up the first without scoring. Got it behind the line. It's Bell. Gets it inside the five. Down to the four. And it'll be first and goal. Defenses are put in such a tough spot when offenses get in third and short because the whole playbook is open and they go with the pass. I love it. They sneak the pass in there. Nice success. Great job by the quarterback. Getting rid of the football. Getting the first down. Now set up first and goal. To the air. It's Finn. Quickly complete. He's all the way down to the two-yard line. Just spectacular execution there. And listen, I know that wasn't a huge gain. It was positive, but I like doing more of that in today's college football. I'm just going to try to give my playmakers a chance to do damage in space away from all the big boys inside. They've moved it forward to the two. Now it's second and goal. Trying to punch it in. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. All right, we're going to try to run the football to get it in here. You're right on the doorstep. I like maybe setting up a jumbo formation, maybe going play action, see if you can sneak a guy out in the flat. After getting stuffed, what did they have for an answer here on third and goal from the two? Touch pass on the run. Touchdown, Baylor! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. Timely decisions, effective play management helps them get in the end zone after that marathon drive. And every time the offense needed to play, boom, they got it. I mean, you think about it. Whether it was a small run, small pass, whatever they needed, they got it done, and they popped it in for the score. On to attempt the try. And it's perfect. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive. And it was finished off with a two-yard touchdown toss. 
After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Houston sending the offense back onto the field. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Fires and picked off. Made the play on the pick, was hoping to make one on the return. He'll have to settle for letting the offense pay it off from the 26. Timing has to be so good. When you're throwing at his own defense over the middle of the field, the ball's got to come out specifically on time because these windows close really quickly. Ball there thrown a little bit late. As a result, it's an INT. Couldn't order better field position for this offense. Looking downfield, it's Finn. Pressure coming. The little soft flip pass falls incomplete. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. The play action fake. They're trying to get to it. And they knocked him down almost immediately. When it's a play action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. facing a third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. He's got it down the middle. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. You know, I got to tell you, as an offense, moving forward in this game, third and long, you're going to have to push the ball downfield a little bit more. You got to throw to the sticks and give yourself a chance to convert these third downs. They'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. He'll try to knock it through from 38 yards out. Splits the uprights. Good. And with that field goal, they now have the lead. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. From inside the 10, here he comes. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Houston offense comes onto the field. Hands it off. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Well, they want to come out and try to get the run game established, but up front defensively, they made a play. They gave up nothing on that one. Got to find some breathing room if you're going to establish yourself on the ground, and there wasn't any that time. Yeah, Reese, I wonder now if this offense is maybe going to try to get to the perimeter of the field and see if they can use their speed to hurt this defense. Smith wants to throw. They'll run the screen. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. Moves it out to the 34-yard line. A nice 15-yard gain on that one. That is a time-honored way to slow down the rush. Hit him with the screen and a chunk play. Yeah, such a great job because you're flying up the field to get to the quarterback because everything looks like pass down the field. Let those guys get up the field, throw right behind them. He does a little bit of the rest, making some moves, getting up field, making the big play. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the linebacker's showing you read and react. He knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. They've got the screen set up. 
Gordon. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. And there you go. You see, you don't have to throw bombs to get big plays in the passing game. Just screen it to your running back. As soon as he catches it, he gets upfield. And how about the downfield blocking by these linemen and the wide receivers as they rip off that explosive play? Leaves it with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And you hear about run blitzes. This is exactly what a run blitz is. When you know the ball's coming up the middle, you want to bring those linebackers, get them closer to the line of scrimmage, and fire. Right when the ball snapped, he's coming downhill, doing a good job creating the loss. That linebacker really knew what was going on. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. Second down coming up. Crying play action. Throws to the tight end. Makes a connection. And he's brought down after a nice game. Well, another catch by the big fella. And hey, this defense now in the second level, they've got to understand that they're going to see some play action. They can't keep biting on the fake. It's not easy to do. You've got to be aware of the tight end and his release. As soon as you see him get upfield, right now you know it's pass. So don't even worry about the fake. Get your eyes focused and find the big fella to go make a tackle and make a play on the ball. Looking left. He's got it. Makes the grab and knock down, and he's got it at the 25 yard line. Houston coming to the line with a new set of downs. Smith dropping to pass. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Oh, man. The quarterback almost just threw his second interception on his many drives. He's trying to fit that football in there. It gets tipped up in the air. He's lucky that wasn't picked off. Second and ten after the previous play. He's looking to throw. Complete to the right. And the defense was right there to make the tackle, but not before they get it to the 12 and set up in the red zone. Curl route seems simple, but when you time it like that so it's right on him, man, that's a tough play to stop. And give the receiver a lot of credit, too, because he knew where the sticks were. He got his depth on the route, and then he came back to the football. All young receivers can learn from this guy right here. Give him six. Touchdown, Houston. And offense slips the running back out of the backfield. Nobody decides to cover. My man makes the play. Shows off the hands first. Got to make the catch first. Does the rest. Walks in the end zone for the touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're up 14 to 10. So it's an 80-yard drive, and the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there getting set. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. To throw, it's Finn. He finds his man. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. Now from the 36-yard line, it's first and 10. He's going to pass. Makes the grab. It's Jackson. Makes the stop at the 49, but not before he gets him. Plus territory gets 15 and a first down. 
Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Got a man. It's Baldwin. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. They're down to the 35 on first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Shoots it to the left. It's caught downfield. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Real smart play. Great job. Get the positive yards and then get your booty out of bounds. They've moved it into scoring territory. First and 10 from the 11. He wants to throw. He got it. They'll mark him down at the two. The excellent execution on that throw and catch. And that's why the bullet pass is so important. Sometimes these defenses, they don't give you big windows to throw into. And you want to take that chance, but you cannot lob that football down the field and get it in there. Nice use of the bullet pass, my friend. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. And here on second down, they'll send out the field goal unit to try to get three before the break. Between the uprights, it's good. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. From inside his own 15, looking for a crevice. And the returner will be brought down. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, time for everyone inside that stadium to take a deep breath and digest what we just saw. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working, and I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. And with that, let's send it back to the guys in the cage in Southeast Texas. And the Bears will boot it away to start the second half. Here's the return from inside his tent. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Here comes the Houston offense once again. They got plenty done through the air in the first half, and we'll see if they even need to look for balance as we start the third quarter. Well, and I, and I think defensively, you understand, like the running game isn't a big part of the plan. I wonder how they adjust and play more coverage to this pass-happy offense. Yeah, so you're going to have to be ready if you're a quarterback, then. You're probably going to see some different coverages. You might see a little bit more blitz in the second half as well, so you have to know where your answers are. Grab behind the line, it's Williams. <laughs> They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. Wide receiver now comes in motion. He'll try to pick it up on the ground. Runs through the tackle. How about the patience from this sophomore to hunt that green grass? This is going to be a big key for him, David, with the lead here in the second half, running the football, right? Staying on the field and bleeding the clock. Yeah, run the football. You're ahead. You can be a little bit more conservative. But again, this opens up the pass. This keeps everything in balance for this offense. Right back to the well. We'll give him a couple on that with second and eight coming up.
Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Smith wants to throw. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. They'll be getting suffocated right away. How about the DB? Just seeing that initially, pulling the trigger, getting to him, get him on the ground, get the tackle for a loss. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the wideout. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. Well, I know this offense came out here in the second half hoping to build on their one possession lead, but after that incompletion, I think the smart thing is to just kick it away here. Let your defense play and try to get it back to you without giving up any points. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Running it back, it's Cameron. Coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. Here comes the Baylor offense back onto the field. Trying to find his man on first down. Got his man quickly. Good pick up there as he gets the first down, and they'll mark him at the 48. Yeah, when you get that man coverage, most people are taught to have inside leverage. So that out route's there if your QB can put some air on it and throw it outside of the guy. But tight coverage, but a really nice throw in that out route. They'll line up right at the 48-yard line on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Fires to the wideout. A strike downfield. Defense needs to regroup as he gets it down to the 26. The Bears racing to the line in the hurry up. Give to the back. And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. And the Bears have pushed it inside the 20. Quick release on the RPO. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. I really like the slot receiver. And I understand he's not the biggest guy in the world, but he just runs really good routes, and he's always under control. He can run option routes. He can run double moves. He does a great job cutting, and he's dangerous after the catch. Nice weapon to have work in the middle of the field. The Bears have it with a first and ten. He's going to pass. He's got it on the run. They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. And I love when my quarterback sees zone and knows exactly where to go with the football. Sees the wide receiver running the drag route, knows when to throw it, pulls the trigger for the easy completion. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. And off from the shotgun. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. And that one will give him the lead. Up and over, Yam will be there into the end zone. And you don't want to leave your feet very often in football, but this is one of those areas where you do. In the end zone, near the goal line, you smell it. A lot of bodies in front of you. Just get up, get over top of them, get that touchdown. They'll line up to go for two. They'll try to pound their way in. Several defenders there to get him on the ground. Yeah, and the defense comes up with the stop, and you just wonder, the analytics world and all that stuff, that whatever the card says to do, you're supposed to do. I wonder if they were listening to that card. 
Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. The Houston offense ready to go back to work. Got the quick completion. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with the first down. Houston going up tempo. Using his legs, it's Jenkins. Nice pick up there, gets him the first down and sets him up at the 45 yard line. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. They'll ride the hot hand. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Smith dropping to pass. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Well, that's just a great play by the defender and great timing. It was the hit that forced that incompletion. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. Off play action. Fires to the middle. He can't make the catch. Had it right in his hands and it'll be fourth down. You know, on a third and short like that, you just have to have great chemistry between the quarterback and his receiver. They just couldn't get on the same page. Now it sets up fourth down. Houston will be forced to punt. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. To the air on first down. Got it in the middle, it's Presley. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. They pick up the first down on the drag route. Good job by the receiver knowing it was man coverage. If he's looking, he's booking. He gave his quarterback the eyes right away that says, hey, I'm not stopping. Put it out in front of me. I'm getting this first down. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. From the gun, the give, looking for room. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll keep it on the ground. Running with power. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. And the Bears have it with a first and ten. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. They go to the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. As an offense, you've got the lead. You've had success running the football. You hope that this play is just the blitz because you know you're going to have to lean on your bell cow running back. Ice this game and close it. Now facing a third and long. It's a draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And they try to sneak the draw in there. The defense was not full. You know, there's an art 
to selling the drawsway, and that one was uh, kind of more paint by numbers. Didn't turn out so well. Yeah, and the defense, you could tell, they weren't fooled. They were green. They were painting by numbers and got in there quick, fast, and made the play. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. They'll get him corralled and down at about the 19-yard line. Houston sending the offense back onto the field. Pulled and finds his man on the left. Oh, it's on the ground! High ball! Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. And these wide receivers are so fast nowadays. They're such big playmakers. I just want to get it to them and let them make it happen. But a lot of times, we're running to them, too. We're focused on chasing him down and funneling the football in the right direction. Defense Swarm did a good job getting their hand on the football, causing the fumble from the wide receiver. Off the play fake on first down. Snagged in the middle. It's Baldwin. He's there to make the stop, but not before. He sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you. Over the middle of the field, you can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy and making an accurate throw. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Wants to throw. It's Finn. He's got it. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. They were able to get the ball to the running back in space, but that space just evaporated. And a great job by the defense, man. It's tough to get those guys on the ground. They're so used to being having the football as running backs and making plays and being dynamic. So usually one guy not going to get into the ground. You want many guys. And he will be sacked at the six-yard line. We've seen this defensive end make a lot of plays. In the run game, he's setting the edge. He's forcing the football to go back inside, but he's not a one-trick pony. He can also get out of his stance, use his hands, and use his speed to beat offensive tackles and get to the QB. So this field goal unit has been getting the job done. They've already made a couple here today. From the left hash, this one shouldn't be too much trouble. Tried to give it enough body English, but he missed it. Missed an opportunity for a little cushion. The lead is still five. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. The Houston offense comes onto the field. Ball security always paramount. That football must be riveted to your rib cage, Jesse, and it wasn't last time. And look, he knows that that happens again. He's going to find himself on the sideline. So this is going to be a dude very motivated to make some plays on this drive. Yeah, and I think it's, it's frustrating, but you've you got to put it behind you. you got to move on. And this offense has to go through him anyways. You've got to be able to run the football and have some balance. After that big gainer to open things up, they'll put it in play from the 40. Looking for space, it's Jenkins. At midfield, he's got room. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And this running back right now is sending a very clear message. He doesn't want to just be known as a guy that can run around you or run away from you. He wants you to know he can lower the shoulder and get those tough yards if need be. Now it's a first down from the 43-yard line. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. So you get stuffed on first down. You had an idea of what you wanted to do on second, but I'm guessing it's back to the drawing board now. 
Yeah, you, you got to figure out who you are and what you are. Uh, what's your next best play? Or what is the defense going to do? If they've been aggressive, okay, well, if they've been aggressive, I'm going to throw that deep ball. If they've been sitting back, I might sneak a draw in here. Makes the grab. It's Jenkins. They get him on the ground, and that will be the final play of this third period. That's the end of the quarter, and it's Baylor holding the edge. They've done the work to build a nice cushion now to bring it home as we check out the stats after three quarters. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and ten. This offense has their work cut out for them, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. That last completion sets him up on second down. Smith wants to throw. Fires to the tight end. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. It's so important that this offense is able to stay on schedule. And what that means is keeping third downs manageable. That last completion to the tight end accomplished just that. Really nice play call. Already in chip shot field goal range at the 21, but this third and short, they're still thinking touchdown. Catch in the middle. It's Middleton. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. It's not a great feeling on defense, too. When you're blitzing, you're expecting to get a sack. You're expecting to get a hit on the quarterback. If the offensive line and running backs pick it up, uh-oh, because now you have one less guy in the back end trying to cover all these receivers and tight ends, and you know you're in trouble. Looking to pass inside the red zone. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. It's just so nice to have a QB under center nowadays in football. You can trust these guys. You put so much on their plate, and you tell them, go get positive yards when it's there. And a lot of these guys are such great athletes, they do it with ease. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They'll go to the ground. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? That back had nowhere to go. The defensive line ate up the blocks. But how about the linebackers swarming in, coming in and making a great play on the ball carry? They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. They want to throw it. Trying to get rid of it. Man, they just couldn't find a hole. Down in the red zone, the field shrinks. So much harder to complete those passes. But fourth and short. Now, decision time, baby. Down a possession here in the fourth, and they'll need to convert on this fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Tight end finds a soft spot. Touchdown, Cougars! And with that, they move out front here in the fourth. I think one of the most underrated things we talk about with the QB is timing. Being able to get the ball out of his hands to his receiver where he can continue to catch the football and run with it. Nice pitch, nice catch, nice play in the fourth quarter when you needed it for this team to take the lead. Leading by one, they'll go ahead and go for two and try to make it a field goal game. With jet sweep pass. Into the end zone, the two-point conversion is good, and now they're up by a field goal. So a drive there of 82 yards, and they cap things off with a nine-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Baylor has it back, and here comes the Bear offense. Looking for space. It's Richardson. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around and make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want them to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense. Great the tackle for a loss on first down. 
Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Back to pass. It's Finn. They're working that left side. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there. Still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, going up top. Snagged on the outside, it's Jackson. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. That looks like a real simple play by the wide receiver, but give him a ton of credit. That was an excellent route. He never telegraphed that he was breaking to the outside. Kept his eyes downfield, so when he cuts, he's able to get maximum separation from the defender, and that's why that play is successful. Gets it out quickly. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. He's just winning that matchup in the slot every time. And when you put him in the slot, Reese, he's closer to the quarterback. It's an easier throw. We can run in, we can run out, and really take advantage of his versatility of a guy in that slot position. Kept it on the ground last time. Let's see if they go back to it on second down. The short hands, it's Hawkins. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Like QBs, when you see zone coverage, man, can you manipulate defense when you have a good pocket and you've got time to throw. He had a little bit of time to throw. You can move guys with your eyes. That drag comes wide open. Good throw, good catch, first down. He wants to throw it again. Got it in the middle. It's Baldwin. They make the stop after the catch. It's still some work to do to pick up that first down. A lot of times you're throwing these slants to the big body guys because they're so physical and they can win with physicality. But when you throw it to a little guy like this, I, I just know he's going to win with the speed. He's got that much quicks. He's going to win, and I'm going to force feed him the ball and let him make plays. Quick completion to the right. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. And I don't like the play call, guys. Screen pass at this point in the game against the defense playing big zones, prevent trying to kick the ball in front. It's just not going to work. You've got to take shots offensively. A touch out of field goal range. They need to pick up yards quickly on third down. Moving away from pressure. And he was on his way, and they get him down at the 30. Well, they've tried to get this quarterback going, running the ball in, in a variety of ways, and they haven't really been able to kind of break him out just yet until that run right there. Nice individual effort on the scramble. It took a little longer than they would have liked, but maybe that's the play that's really going to sort of spark this offense and really maybe get this guy going more on the ground. Just steamrolling the defense. He showed it all there, a little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. And a great job by the offensive line. If you're going to run the ball right up the middle, you better control the line of scrimmage. You can see the center, the guard, the tackles doing a good job getting on their guys just enough where this running back can get into space and make the big game. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. He's got his man. Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. And with that pass right there, over 300 yards. That's a good day at the office. Being able to execute, doing a good job seeing what's coming, anticipating, taking some shots today, but his hold really strong, put up some good numbers. Direct snap. Touchdown, Baylor! And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. And this offense really showing their physicality, running the football when it matters in the fourth quarter, in crunch time, to take the lead in this football game. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. A 
about to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. Here comes the Houston offense once again. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complimentary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. They'll run it to the right. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Yeah, they're just going to need more push up front. There was nowhere for that running back to go. The offensive line got moved right back into his lap, and as a result, they lose yards on that play. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. Smith dropping to pass. On target. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Messed up on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. And the Cougars will line it up on first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Pocket starts to collapse. And they got him for the sack. Defensive linemen live to get after the quarterback, to get sacks, to get by those big hog mollies up front on the offensive line and say, you taste dirt. Well, after not getting a thing done on first down, it's second and long from the 24. He's looking to throw. Gets it out fast. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. What a big play this one could be. Tight game, getting late, third and long coming up. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Ball in the air, intercepted! And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. Third in Africa is extremely difficult. When I know it's a passing situation, I get to rush the passer and pin my ears back. I get to put more DBs on the field to drop back and really play pass coverage. You can tell the offense was trying to force it, trying to get that first down, makes the big mistake. Here comes the Baylor offense back onto the field. And they've got a little bit of a cushion here, David. If they can add to it on this drive, it would be nice. And it definitely makes a little bit of a difference. Knowing I'm up by more than a field goal, obviously, Jesse, my mindset switches, and I know I can't make mistakes. Yeah, and David, I don't think they have to reinvent the wheel on offense here. What they've been calling has been working. Just get back to doing what you're good at. Clock continues to run, and they'll be happy to wind it all the way down before they snap it. Smart move to keep it on the ground. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. You know, every running back thinks about the 100-yard barrier every time they take the field. And this guy, I know he's got it in his mind. He might be the only one in the stadium right now that knows. He's got 97 yards rushing here in the fourth quarter. You know he is begging his coach just for one more carry to get that mark. On first and 10, trying to strike from the 15. Give to the running back. Got some room, headed to the goal line. And he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, Bears! Man, you know, late in the games, offenses sometimes get conservative when they got the lead and they got the ball. I love this offense. They were aggressive. They got another score added to the lead. Now you're trying to salt this game away. Well, 
Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point is up and good, and they have an 11-point fourth quarter lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finished it with a beautiful 15-yard run for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Houston offense ready to go back to work. After throwing the pick on the last drive, need to take care of the ball this time, Jesse. We're going to find out a lot about this quarterback right here, too. How does he fight through adversity after that last drive? Yeah, clear the mechanism, move on. That's a part of it, right? If you're going to be a great player, you've got to learn how to handle these mistakes and move on. Smith wants to throw. Feeling some heat. He'll get rid of it. Got his man downfield. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Hey, you know, the defense here in this situation with a huge lead, they've got to anticipate that this offense is going to be trying to throw the ball to the sideline, so they've got to work different coverages to try to force the quarterback to go over the middle of the field with the football. This offense lining up now at the 48-yard line on first and 10. Used the play fake, now to throw. Makes the grab on the left. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. It's definitely the wide receiver's job to create space, right? So whether you're running a go or you're running a hitch like this right here, I got to find a way to push off legally or just create a little bit of space to get some positive yards. They want to just keep throwing it. Wide open downfield. Touchdown, Houston. Hello. And once he got loose, it was all over. And listen, still a ways to go. But great job by this offense getting you back in the ball game. Now, we got a one-possession game. We got our score. We did what we're supposed to do. Now, how do we get this stop? Now, the defense has to come up big and get me the rock back. Obvious thinking here. Get the two-point conversion now, and all you'll need is a field goal to tie. He's looking to throw. Zings it complete to the right. He gets it in for the two, and now a field goal with tie. Seventy seconds left, and they line up for this all-important onside kick. Cool as a cucumber as the hands team makes a sure catch. Baylor has it back, and here comes the Bear offense. All right, this game just got tighter, and you just don't want to make a mistake here, David. Especially in the fourth quarter. Remember, you're still leading this ball game. You're still going to execute the same way, Palmer. Don't get frantic. Don't get frantic, but I would like to see them stay aggressive, too. You put a touchdown up on the board here, and this goes back to being a two-possession game. You gotta believe they just want to run it, take care of the football, and keep that clock moving on second and nine. Right back to him on the ground. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. I think if you're offense here, the game boils down to this one play on third down with the lead late. If you get the first down, that's ball game. There's not enough time left for the defense to get it back and go march down the field. So let's dial up our best play offensively. Let's make sure our best players are touching the football. And money down is where you see defenses really understand where the sticks are, play great pass defense, know what's coming, and get off the field. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. And he's got it counted all the way to 55. Never in doubt. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 50-plus, and he did it with ease.
With that field goal, now it takes a touchdown to beat them. So you want to pin them back and then let the defense have a little room to work with. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Going up top on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Well, at this point in the game, the defense now is substituting their personnel. They've got their dime package in the game. There's a lot of DBs out there. They know this offense is going to have to throw the football to climb back in this game. Got to get everybody lined up quickly. Time winding away, and they've got to push the ball down the field. Throws to the wideout. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe, and how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. Where's the defense on that last play? It's a two-minute situation. You've got the guy making the catch in the middle of the field. You've got to tackle him in bounds and keep this clock moving. Somehow they were able to let him get outside and stop the clock. That just can't happen. Fires left. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. He found plenty of room, and he gets it to the 39-yard line. And I love that the QB understood I'm going to put some stank on this. I'm going to throw it as hard as I can quickly, right when he's breaking out of that curl. Nice job getting it to him quick so he can get a first down. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. And they spike it and get the clock stopped. It's now second down. This offense has a second down play. Smith dropping to pass. They're bringing heat. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. Yeah, and at this point of the game, guys, fourth quarter, you're trailing. You know that they're going to be throwing the ball and trying to be aggressive and try to climb back into this one. Couldn't come up with it there on second down. Let's see what happens on third. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. And if you're the defense right now, you've given up some yards on this drive, but you've got a possession lead. You just need one more stop after that last incompletion setting up fourth down. Do you blitz? Do you try to speed up the QB? Let's find out and watch. Trailing by a possession, they need to keep the ball. They'll try to convert on fourth down. Deep shot for the end zone. Incomplete on fourth down, and man, did they need to keep that drive alive. Their work here is virtually done. No need to take any more chances. They'll line up in victory formation. <laughs> 